Hey guys, it's us and good morning from Fuji, Kawaguchiko, the small town we've been staying at for the past few days here near Mount Fuji. Unfortunately, it is our last day here. It's been an amazing time seeing the beauty of Mount Fuji, but it's time to explore a different part of Japan. Yes, so today we're actually headed to Kyoto and the exciting part about today is that we're actually going to be riding a bullet train for the yeah. first time ever yeah. and if you guys don't know, Japan is known for its fastest bullet trains in the world. This bullet train goes 300 kilometers per hour if not more. We are now here at Kawaguchiko station and the plan for today is that we're going to be taking the bus to Mishima station and from Mishima station we're going to be taking the bullet train all the way to Kyoto. It's been fun and peaceful here near Mount Fuji, but it's time to explore our next destination here in Japan, Kyoto. And of course, we'll bring you guys with us. Another day, another adventure. Let's go! Alright, so we are currently waiting for a bus now. It should be here in 20 minutes, so... The bus from Kawaguchiko Station to Mishima Station is around $20 and it takes one hour to get there. Not yes. too bad. So while waiting for the bus, we just found the cheapest souvenir you can get here in Mount Fuji. What is it, babe? It's free, actually. It's not cheap. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> it's a leaf. It's a leaf. And it's been picking some up too from the ground. Why not? Look at this. This is... You can only find these at Mount Fuji. <laughs> just kidding. So now we are on the bus. Um, we decided to bring you guys on this journey to Kyoto because from Kawaguchi to Kyoto is not the easiest. It's mostly confusing. Mm -hmm. It actually took us a while to figure out which route we wanted to take because there are just so many. The route we decided to take in the end was the most convenient and the fastest but cost a little more than the other routes. Yeah. So we are taking a one hour bus ride to Mishima Station which cost $20 per person. From Mishima Station we're going to be taking the bullet train to Kyoto which is I think $100 yeah, per so person. The other options there is an overnight bus mm -hmm. which costs around $70 yeah but it takes eight to nine hours yeah. to get to Kyoto from Kawaguchiko the bullet train may cost a little bit more than the other routes like I said but it might be more ideal for you if you have luggage with you or if you're with children or yeah. traveling with a bigger family so let's go to Kyoto let's go Alright, so we are now here at Mishima Station. Time to get on a bullet train to Kyoto. Let's go. So we are lined up at the Shinkansen line, which is the bullet train. Alright, let's get our ticket. Alright, 
Alright, so before we board our train, we're actually getting food right now because it's a two hour train ride. Yeah, we're just getting some snacks. We got some lemonade. I need some some food though. I'm, I'm kind of hungry right yeah. now. So it's cool because this track has a mini mart so you can just get some snacks before you ride your train. There's so many varieties of food. So I'm gonna get this pork cutlet sandwich. I'm gonna be basic. <laughs> wow, so basic. Ham and cheese. Alright guys, so we got our ticket. It was around a hundred dollars per person. Yeah. <laughs> That is one expensive ticket, so expensive that we showed up at our track 45 minutes early so we do not miss this train. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, so the train is here. It's right there. It looks like a whale. <laughs> it's huge! So we actually saw some passing by earlier and it was so fast. like crazy crazy fast nothing we've ever seen before so we're quite excited to experience a bullet train here in Japan for the first time this thing goes super super fast yeah. so anyways there are two types of seats that you can buy there is the non reserved seats which we are on right now because unfortunately the other options is the reserved seats which is self-explanatory you get to reserve your seats yes. but it does cost more mm -hmm. but unfortunately that option is sold out for today the only option we had was to book the non-reserved seats. The only annoying thing about it is it's first come first serve. From what we've seen, the non-reserved car fills up very, very quickly. And sometimes before the bullet train picks you up, it has actually already picked up other people from different stations. All right, so it's going fast now. Oh, it's picking up. Do we put our hands up? <laughs> is this a roller coaster ride? bullet train in the world that goes 500 kilometers per hour. I thought you said 600. Oh, was it? Yeah, 600. Oh, sorry, 600 kilometers per hour. It's called the magnetic bullet train. All right, so two-hour train ride. You already know we got our snacks. Bye, I'm son. That's mine. Oh, this one. <laughs> and got the boring-ass sandwich. I got some chicken karage with rice. We got the egg ham cutlet, ham and lettuce sandwich. Boring. You're in Japan, why would you get lettuce and ham? Alright, so we are now going full speed. It's like... Um... You're embarrassing, I don't know you. Nothing too crazy though. And also, it's like when you're in the plane, and yeah. your ears kind of. <coughs> yeah. And also, it is super stable though. Yeah. It's kind of like I feel like I'm on a plane. Yeah. But like with more room. Look at the all of the space that we have yeah. in front of us. Super super spacious. You can fit a suitcase in front of you. Mm -hmm. That's how spacious it is. Yeah. And you can like work. <laughs> There's like a work area right here. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a plane, but. Business class. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so right now we are currently stopped at a station. 
So it's not direct, it doesn't go straight to Kyoto, but it does make a few stops on the way. Yeah, which is why sometimes when you enter a bullet train, there will already be people mm -hmm. from different stations. This train is such a cool experience because mm -hmm. even though it's going so fast, we're passing through so many small towns, the countryside of Japan. Yeah, it's and just it's so scenic. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I wish it's, it would slow down sometimes, you know, so I can see it better. <laughs> I'm like trying to take videos, but it's just so fast. You know, you'd be like, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. In case you guys are wondering, luggage is allowed on the bullet train, but it has to be a certain size. So we'll put the measurements right here. So you are allowed two luggage per person, uh, 30 kilos max. Yes. We made it to Kyoto! Alright, so we finally arrived here in Kyoto. So we're hopping into a new train to go to our accommodation. Uh, but it's not a bullet train anymore, so not exciting. So let's move on, come on. <laughs> I already missed the bullet train, man. This is gonna be so slow. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are back in the city. We just got out of our train and off to our accommodation. Uh, so it's a 12 minute walk, not too bad. And after we check in, we're gonna go get some dinner. Probably just end the night after that. Anne's struggling right now because her luggage weighs 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Sure. <laughs> I, don't got, too. I don't got time for this. A few moments later. Alright, let's go. Gang, gang. Don't Come on. Pretend walk. like you don't see the camera there. Oh, 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 oh. who are you? Racer. It is now 7.30 p.m. and we're out here trying to find dinner. Fortunately enough, our place is near the station and a mall, so lots of food choices in the area. So let's go see what we can eat for dinner. I think we found the restaurant that we're gonna eat at. So inviting because of all the bright lights, that's what really brought us in. The place is called Toriki Soku. The cool thing about most Japanese restaurants is they also have an English menu. So right here, you're probably confused as heck, but there's a QR code right here that you can scan on your phone, and it brings you to the English menu, which is really cool and super helpful. I was trying to read the menu this way. I forgot that in Japan, they read downwards, That's and so cool. they read backwards. You didn't That's, know that? I did not know that. Yeah, because on the train, some people are reading books. Instead of reading from the front, they read backwards. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah. So Jewel has the English menu right now? Yeah. It's nice that uh, we found this restaurant because you can actually order like skewers. They range from around like 80 cents to around, I would say, $2. Yeah, like what Jewel said, is basically all skewers and really cheap to be honest with you and lots of options oh they also have sushi for a dollar babe Ooh, i'm gonna get sushi and you know us we love it cheap yes we love the prices so far <laughs> one dollar and eighty cents it's our numbers <laughs> yeah i like that past two dollars <laughs> so here's Anne's order look at this beautiful dish <laughs> this all salmon so everyone's food is here. Got steak, salmon nigiri, kimchi and pork. Got some gyoza, fish rice bowl, some more steak, and some more sushi. All right, so let's eat. Let's try the salmon. Oh, the rice came off. 
pretty good. Man, steak and salmon. Nothing better than that. It's good, huh? All right, so we just finished dinner. So right now, you know, there's always room for dessert. So we're heading to 7-Eleven. As always. Yeah. I feel like we go to 7-Eleven every day. <laughs> yeah, there's like not a day where we don't go to 7-Eleven. Yeah. But they have some pretty good desserts over there. So let's go check it out, let's go. Got our dessert. I got me some cream puff custard and whipped cream at 7-Eleven. Check that out. It's so pretty looking. Let's give it a try. It's a big bite. Oh my god. That was delicious. It's like ice cream inside. It's one of your favorite, huh? Mm -hmm. And didn't get anything. It's just too full. It's getting late now. That's where we end the vlog. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on social media for daily updates. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.